if we want to create a topology optimization of these gray bodies, then we have to do a trick because um, only one uh, design space is allowed. So what we need to do extra create extra geometry to get a nice uh, optimization is first we have to create sorry a design space containing all the parts you want to optimize then where you don't want to have um, material you have to define the non-design space so here and the non-design space has uh, let me see the struts you can see they have holes in it because the strut should be there running from this uh, uh, bottom right body to the top left body so uh, and what we have also more as extras we have the feature group this feature group so that you can uh, say I do a shell of this so you get a nice a spherical Uh, connection with with the shafts and what we also want is that uh, when you look at the struts that where they connect you want to have them offset and therefore we generated this part and if I now hide the part you see the red parts they will get the offset so that the struts will fit nicely into the parts uh let me see um that's okay do we have now everything what we need for the topology optimization and the design space keep out keep in keep in with the offset uh keep in with shell yes this is gonna work so now we're gonna go to the topology optimization You can do it this way from the left to right, but I start better from this from top to bottom edit. I have to modify this later on to a real value because we did not select the design space, then the voxel size adapts to the uh, design space. So we're gonna select the design space, create new. This is the design space of all. Automatically assign material. Do you want all the material? You have to select there. Maybe if I get now did edit. Yes, eh? yes. Then we already set the the voxel space to maximum. Then we have construction bodies. Create new. Um, we gonna select those. That's as a as a made a feature group. So we select grouped. And we go to the the, uh, the yeah this offset loads the so we select this group we take shell 1.5 is okay so this is okay then we go back to the topology optimization and we still are not finished with our construction bodies create new now we're gonna keep out and keep out this body. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna select the struts, and that is also a group. So we're gonna create a new uh, group body, and we go to the topology optimization, and we keep uh, struts feature. Okay, we select this one. Okay, and we go back to the topology optimization. So we have the this is wrong because this should be keep in. Yeah, then we have the intersections. Uh, we hide this group, so now you do see the intersection. 
packs that we gonna select the create new it's not a group path it's a single feature so we can go to select uh, where is it uh, intersect here all those paths shell on 5 millimeters okay and let me go back to the topology optimization this seems to be extrude no material allowed that's okay the, the struts are defined for keep in and let's shell This is wrong. This should not be a shell. This should be um, keep in with a shell. Uh, so do I select that correctly? It's a shell uh, with shell. Okay, that's. Okay, let me think and shell and sorry, this should be control on the delete everything and we delete this and we are going to create a new body and we separate and we can keep in with an offset for 1.5. So we select the intersect again. Yeah, this seems to be okay. It's larger. Yeah, it's larger as that thing is. So we go to the body optimization. We have everything okay. Then we go to shape constraints. Get new. Mm, okay, we do panel symmetry. So that you get symmetrical parts, uh, that's okay. Then we go to create new and we say something on the member size, or the max member sizes, eight millimeters, okay. Then we go to optimization constraints, create new, mass target, okay, 0.42. Okay, analysis constraints, create new, maybe we gonna hide this so we can select linear slider, linear slider should be here, in the y direction, that's okay, so okay, then you create a new one with this one, and you select print, Okay, then we go to load, with new, you select this face, we tell from OK, specify vector, we go from point to point, from this point to this point, OK, OK. Um, now it seems we can select optimize. Let me see if that's okay. Mass target whole model, that's okay. That's important because we decide the whole model, otherwise, you do part model. And uh, this is okay. So we can select optimize. I'm gonna see if the R. Uh, Iteration starts, and after a few iterations, I pause the, the video to start it when it's finished. It's almost finished. Okay, now I can pause. Three. You see here um, that a um, message that uh, they cannot use the, C, uh, the GP, GPU because this is a very simple GPU in this system. You see that. We always finished optimization and then it takes some time to complete the optimization. You see here when final line result is done, then you can say here yeah, close. And you can show result. 
and we think this principle is okay and then we see the part and now you see in the simulation you get uh, I did not show it but you get a message that there's something with bodies void uh, spaces that because that's what we wanted uh, we wanted uh, separate solids and that's the message for separate solids occur and you see here the, the shell like Thing to connect the, the shafts and here the same. This that's uh, what I would. This is the, the exact what uh, what I this is what I expected and hoped that the result would be. Um, I will you know, I will never look if uh, if the the clapping is good, that's not the correct one, I want to look at uh, 90 degrees and then we see how that was not good the third section, then we can drag it you see the geometry is what so this is what I wanted to show you uh, thanks for your time